Hello my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi my name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome. Today as you can see by the title we're going to be playing with my new gorgeous Blend Bunny Primal Palette. Maggie sent this to me, the owner of Blend Bunny, and I had to do a video as soon as possible because it's such a stunning palette and I wanted it as soon as I saw it, basically. Also the wig has been pulled out of retirement because my lord, my hair needed washed and I wasn't going to do that this morning. So obviously I'm going to swatch this whole palette, I'm going to do this eye look here, it went very purple. I actually meant to go more blue but it's gone very purple but I'm not mad at it and uh, then I'll give you my thoughts on the palette at the end but if you haven't seen it the packaging is just stunning, it's gorgeous and I love that it's exactly the same size as the previous palettes so it's going to sit really nicely on my shelf but inside this is what it looks like obviously quite rainbowy, quite fun, we've got a lot of shimmers down at the bottom here and two massive pans, one of white, one of black. That's not personally my favourite design choice, I would rather have like six more eyeshadows and like a black and a white in there but considering how much black eyeshadow I use it's probably a good thing I've got such a big black. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the swatches of this palette. I'll quickly throw up the swatches that I did earlier today, just take it on my iPhone just so you can see them and I'll put a timestamp up if you want to skip the swatches and just go straight to me playing with the palette. But as always, I'm just going to swatch it down my arm with no primer or anything and we'll just all ogle together at how, how it goes on because it really is beautiful. I'm not going to bother with the names, I don't think it matters. And I'm going to go like column by column because she's like grouped into like colour families and I think that will make more sense. So we've got Nectar, in fact maybe I will just say the names. Ah! Warning. Lethal. I had to really stop myself from doing a uh, sunset eye with this because this palette would be great for that. <laughs> the first shimmer called Feral. It's a really cool shade. I've put it on my inner corners today actually. Next column we've got Roam. Like roaming around, not roam the place. Untamed. Already loving this. Huntress. Look at that for such a pigmented red. Sheesh. And the next shim shim is Potent. Wow. I even like bronzes that much, but that's stunning. Next column we have Prey, as in Birds of Prey. Ray. Oh, Mama. Probably the only shade I will never use. <laughs> Soil. I mean, honestly, half of these don't even need double swatched. And then Regal. We've got Luna. I don't know if it looks it to you, but it is like a very pale green. Toxin. It's okay, sausage. Camouflage. And then slither. Oh, wow. So that's what the first four columns look. That is just stunning. You can tell like how much I want to do a sunset. I haven't even hit the blues and purples yet, but come on. Oh, I'll just swatch it on this arm the other side and then we can like see it all together. Okay, we've got Mimic. Yeah, I find it a lot harder to swatch on this side so they're not going to be as pretty. Mimic. Poisonous. It's a very like blue purple rather than just straight up blue. I would say that's more purple than blue but it is in like the blue roll. Ink. Look at that for like depth, that's incredible. Wait till you see this blue shimmer. This is called Morph. Holy guacamole. Like, <sighs> last column, what's this? Winged. I'm just not very good left handed. <laughs> Exotic. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Instinct. Again, look how much payoff there is. Just on like one swipe. This is the shimmer I used today, Pheromone. I actually did use a bit of Morph underneath my eye, but 
This is the one I mainly used. It's such a stunning shade of purple Ugh, shimmer. And then we've got the black and the white. So the black is called Nocturnal. Very pigmented. Very good. And then hidden is the white. I'll do it with a completely clean finger. It's not the whitest white I've ever come across, but I'm sure over a base it would be better. So that's the last two rows and the black and white, like, come on. And there is the whole palette. <laughs> it's so stunning. So you can see why I wanted to do a sunset, but I didn't, did I? No, I didn't. I'm going to play with this on my own and do a beautiful sunset look just for Instagram. Like, come on. Come on, that's so stunning. Unbelievably stunning. I think it's a really great add-on addition to the other Blend Bunny palettes that I've got. I mean, a lot of people, like, in the groups and stuff, they've looked at it and what I've seen, like, chatting online, it's just, oh, it's just another rainbow palette. And it kind of is. It definitely is just another rainbow palette. But in terms of quality, Blend Bunny is just so incredible. Like, her quality is amazing. And for an indie brand to have such good quality just blows my mind because the amount of money it must cost her to like create these I don't know it must be insane oh I do feel sad wiping off such beautiful swatches sometimes but that is the whole palette swatched and now obviously I'm going to put it on my eyeballs it's just a nice blown out purple smoky eyes and I've got I'm actually going out after this so I can't I didn't really want to do something too too mental on my eyes to be honest but you'll get an idea of how they quality is and how they go on and stuff so yeah if you want to see me use it and then hear my final thoughts at the end keep on watching hey friends welcome back to melissa voices over so i'm starting off with the black because melissa always starts off with black and i'm just putting that inner corner and outer corner i was going to go out with this makeup on but i actually had time afterwards to take it off and then do natural makeup because i am a wimp so that's what i did anyway ink is the second shade I used. This is a very dark blue and it definitely goes on blue. I'm definitely more patting it in place because it's like a pressed pigment and it just seems to like work better that way. The more, like the other blue I'm going to use in a second, it's definitely more purple blue, like poisonous, but it's just so stunning. And blue and purple together are just immaculate anyway, aren't they? By the way, if they, you hear noises, the cats use their litter boxes every time I'm filming. Like I think they do it on purpose. But look how stunning that is. That does look blue. That does look blue, to be fair. Sausage! Then I'm going in with Exotic, which is a definitely purpley purple. Sorry, the boys um, are wondering why I'm not in bed. That is literally why they're shouting at me, because we are always in bed at this point. It's like, what time? Yeah, it's 5 to 10. And they're like, Melissa, why are we not in bed? Then Mimic. I had to use this shade, and it totally like overtakes the look, because it's a real pastel but holy macaroni this shade touches my bum in ways that people can't like <laughs> this shade is my life my my I would marry this eyeshadow shade and then I went in with a bit of this winged color just on the outskirts just to blend it into my pale skin sausage can you please leave can you please leave and the whole time I was filming this I had Danielle on FaceTime and we were just chatting so I just thought I would include that and, and, and show you. But that's like the look as it is with just like one layer, not trying to blend it really, just popping the colours on. So just like I always do, I'm going to go back in with the exact same colours but on bigger, fluffier brushes. And that's just going to help me be able to blend everything together a bit better. And then I cleaned up with a bit of concealer. And then Pheromone is the shade that I decided to use in the middle. I feel like there's not very, there's not any light shimmers in here, which is kind of weird. But I get why, but at the same time, I like a really light shimmer to really pop in a look. So I feel like I didn't get that from this palette, but I mean, I understand why. At the same time, that's why I go in with glitter in a second, because I feel like I need the center to pop a bit more. Anyway, I'm just using some of the matte purples. Going down side, and then I had to use a shade Warning, which is like, it's a pink, like a red pink. It's one of the coolest colours I've ever seen. Um, and I decided just to pop that on, just to add a bit more of something. And then yeah, this is my uh, Diamond Bomb thing from Lime Crime. They don't make it anymore. 
which is annoying and I just put that up the centre for a bit of a spiderkle because like I said I just wanted it to be more bright and then I used my Mitchell, made by Mitchell purple pencil whatever colour that is and then just some blues down here and I do go in with a bit of the shimmer blue in the centre I have to do like a blue smoky eye with this palette and use this morph shade all over my lid because that's just going to look sick so I just decided you know while we're playing with lots of different shadows to just pop a bit of that on the lower lash line obviously I add glitter when my base is on and then I took a bit of ferro because I thought why not put that on the inner corner I was trying to make it a bit kind of oil slicky you know and it like picks up all different kind of colours and stuff and I don't know if I achieved that but I had fun doing this look so that is the look there um, pretty much done and then Maggie also sent me some of the lashes so I used these I think it's the, the virtues the style they're pretty big pretty dramatic and I feel like they worked really well with this look they're a lot more dramatic than I thought they were going to be actually um, but yeah I think they worked really well they're about to get thunder and lightning outside I can just tell it's like red sky and it's super warm but it's raining anyway I forgot to take a really cute clip of me showing off the look but that is the look there very happy with how this palette performed and I also use the pinks as blushes as well. Oh, I need to have a shower immediately after this. Right, I'm finished. Obviously this is the eye look. You've seen the swatches. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Honestly, I think this palette is fantastic quality. I've absolutely zero issues with it. It's kind of like when I try a new Beauty Bay palette. It's the same with Blend Bunny. Every palette I've tried from them has been excellent and hasn't let me down. I really like the formula of her shadows. Some people find it a little bit hard to work with. I know there's a couple of my sausages that don't love the formula, but I think if you're maybe a bit more like me and you're maybe a bit more, I don't say, patient maybe, and you're willing to just sit there and blend for a bit longer, like the, the outcome is just, I think, 10 out of 10. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the new Blend Bunny Primal Palette. Again, thank you so much to Maggie for sending this to me because like I'm proper skin and I couldn't have afforded to buy it, but I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Uh, you have to tell me what you think. Are you going to pick it up? Have you? Have you not? What are your thoughts? But yeah, that's going to be all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below saying bums and feet if you want me to do a sunset look with this palette. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna piss off, go and have a shower, clean up my desk, everything is covered in eyeshadow and uh, I really hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!